goes. Ugh. Be quiet for the start of this. I think we've all forgotten how to play. I'm fine. I, it looks like yourself. we're live. We are live. All right, cool. Hey, everyone, welcome back to another session of this. And it's been a while, yes, but freaking holiday season and people having shit they need to do mm -hmm. makes it really difficult at times. Damage. Mm -hmm. Yep. <sighs> yep. All right, so let's go over the recap as well as I can. Also, um, first of all, right off the bat, also will not be here today because college stuff, but three out of three out of four is sufficient, so whatever. Alright, so on the world map, technically the party, as far as we know, is in Hildheim, kind of. At the end of the um at the start of the previous session, they were heading off there to look into exactly how their new companion for the time being, Nomi ended up in there just like effectively left there to die or get ca by ca captured and sold as a slave or some other unsavory thing and they were going there to along the way to head further south to look into this interesting business of the Korokin apparently doing something odd that doesn't involve straight fighting which is already odd um but further south along the way towards, um, what was that? Silwood? Silwood, yes. Towards Silwood and supposed to be a place further down. While they were in Hildheim, however, they did learn a few interesting things. First of all, there was a decently sized caravan from Haven, which was in the city, uh, meeting with the nobility. And hoping to go up and meet them, they had a chance encounter with a woman in a black, uh, uh, black, black cloak and through this encounter she apparently managed to suck all of the party into a vortex created by this book um, when the party had awoken they found themselves in the middle of a vast desert which was very odd for numerous reasons one of which is there is no actual um, desert anywhere in the known world not at least on the scale that they have seen um didn't really see much more with that since they've arrived in the, dun the uh, desert. Since getting into the desert, they've wandered around a little bit and they found a number of interesting creatures here and there. A, a, a large desert giant who was just transporting um, a herd of camel and such around, like livestock. A strange black furred cat like, cre a humanoid cat like creature who was chained up and answered them three questions. Now, I'm going to need your guys' help with this, because remember the first question was, how do we leave? What was the second question? What happens when we do? Right, what happens when we do? And the third question is, I believe it was, who betrayed Nomi, or something to that effect? Or who that? attacked her? I don't remember the exact details, yeah. but the answers obviously being, the first one was, when the Dune Strider's tale is concluded at the pyramid, or something to that effect, Second one was you be returned among friends, and the third one was she was attacked by old by um like acquaintances, uh, business partners, some to that effect. I don't remember exactly what I said because that was like a month ago, and I'm bad with notes. <clears throat> Since then, you traveled a little bit further. You found an oasis for the night where you slept down, and you ran into a interesting fellow who introduced himself as Clytus Dunstrider. Uh, he explained a little bit of things, as I recall, mostly that. He was hunting a, not so much hunting, but fighting against a rather vicious man who he named as um, Blackmore. I don't know if he actually used his full title, it would have been a Lord Blackmore. Um, and explained that they were both looking for something in this desert. There's supposedly a pyramid that has a great treasure or something, and Blackmore's after, and while he himself isn't he'd probably be interested in it. He's more interested in stopping Blackmore than actually getting this treasure. And he's basically asked the party if they'd be willing to help uh, stop him, and I believe the party effectively agreed. After that part, he uh, made a mention that just um, head around the like rocky plateau that encompasses the oasis and continue to head south, and he will meet you down there. 
And that, I believe, is pretty much where we left off. Let me, I'm going to leave you on the world map for a second because i got to scroll over. I have a lot of maps made right now. Ah. The main desert map. And the party, we ended off going further south. One of the last things that happened before it ended off is you found, I believe it was with the desert mimic you ran across. But a interesting cloak um, appeared to be made out of wolf for, fur and everything else, which you, um, I believe, Jade was use, uh, using for the time being. We, we also found a genie. Oh, you did find a genie who did enchant your equipment? Uh, they got enchanted. I got two bullets or something. I can't remember what it two was. Two bullets of... Um, slain, wasn't it? Something I like? think it was evil slain or something like that. Let's go with bullets of evil slain. That sounds right. Can you it's hear like me? Music? Slain, but for evil creatures. Yeah. Can you guys hear music on any off chance? Uh, I didn't hear any music. Okay. Um. It should be okay. You're being axed. <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, Jade, I believe, was using the cloak, and from there on out, the party was still intending to head south, as I recall, to find whatever was going on. Yeah. Sound right? Cloak of the beast yeah. plus ten speed pack tactics. Yeah. Pretty fucking nice item. Natural weapon. And requires a tune, obviously. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so you're continuing to go south? Yeah! Alright. So, let me make sure I'm on the right layer for clicking on this. As you continue... God damn it. Why does my mouse like to double click right now? As you continue south, you eventually see that there's a rather large, like, rocky plateau... I don't want to say plateau. It's more like a, a mountain range of sorts. And... As you're looking across the surface of it, you can see that it looks like there's a wild sandstorm surging across the surface of it, not really heading towards the party or anything. It's just staying there. Well, that could be problematic. Uh, you can also see there's the path still going on further south, and the sun is getting decently high in the sky at this point. I'm pretty sure by now it would be around about noon. Go ahead and everyone roll me a constitution save. I will have to bring up Nomi Sheet. Uh, Nomi is here. Ugh. Nomi has to roll me a constitution save. Oh shit. That's right, I gave her no constitution. Man, she did good. Still her right. Nomi. Uh, mm -hmm. Yasana's good, Felia's good, Jade's good, Nomi's good, Shiki. You're dead. Actually, um, no, <laughs> that reminds me, Jade, since Jade has the, um, I think, no, she wouldn't have been able to wear both at once, the desert clothing and the, uh, cloak, so she wouldn't have had the advantage on the save. But, um, Shiki, you, as this, the, as you're going along and everything else, the interior of the apparatus, which you've been going around in, is, you didn't bring the apparatus in, right? Yeah, you did. Because you put it in the but, hole, I believe. Uh, yeah. yeah, we put it in the hole, so I've been walking. It. I've been walking with him. Yeah, I so think we've been getting. Been walking, you've just been walking on the, along the surface with him. You've all been going along the sands. We've been getting it. We've been using it every now and again. I think we used it once to get over a mountain. Yep. Yeah, something like that. All right. So walking along the sands, the sun is high in the sky, and the rest of them are able to kind of just fight off the heat. But Shiki, this, like the fur of your tails and everything else, it's just getting to you a little much, and you take one level of exhaustion. Oh, fudge. So you're saying that uh, the desert clothing isn't helping me at all? Yeah. You I've... have the cloak as well, so if you're yeah. wearing the cloak, then I'm going to say you can't really... Shiki, uh... are you wearing desert clothing? Cause... I... I Actually, glamour... let me I think gla on this. I... Didn't I glamour my stuff into desert clothing? Glamour is just an illusion. You're still wearing the normal clothing. Yeah, it doesn't um, I'm actually going to say that you could have been wearing the desert clothing with the cloak, and the desert clothing would have given you advantage, which wouldn't have had any effect on your role. Okay. Um, but <laughs> yeah, one level of exhaustion is not too bad. It's I might I might consider trading clothes with Shiki if uh, she gets hit again, though. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's uh, gonna be annoying. That's gonna annoy. I'm a skill monkey, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, you're continuing along for the most... God, why is my mouse double-clicking? Because it hates you. This is really annoying. My mouse does that to me sometimes. Yeah, it's been doing it very commonly recently. It's very weird. As you continue along further south, you'll eventually see along this um, cliff ravine, which kind of curls along to the side, you see in the distance what almost looks like 
a lighthouse. D dare I ask? We're about to investigate. Is it possible this area was once an ocean? Roll a nature check. All of us? Anyone who wishes to try to determine if this area... Nature or survival, all that, whichever is higher. Okay. Uh, nature is minus one. one. Survival is... Plus five. You're so a I'm ranger. I'm hoping better. <laughs> um, I'm looking at Philia. Uh, I oh, have yeah. proficiency in nature. Survival is eight. Alright. Um. Yeah, Yasana... You're not really sure, like, nobody else, like, Philia and Shiki, you don't really have a clue at all with this. Yasana, you're not too terribly sure. It's a possibility, but you don't know. Jade, you get the feeling that this area could potentially have been an ocean at one point. Um, all these ridges around you could have potentially have been um, islands, but they seem pretty, it's like a pretty sheer drop for that, so you're not positive that that's it, but you you can see it be a chance. The only issue is if that's the truth, why would the lighthouse be effectively on ground level and not up on one of the ridges? Can we investigate? It's free to, it also be a to learn more? Yeah, you'd have to get closer to take a look at it. Oh, how close are we? Uh, you're still a, a number of miles out. Oh, well then I guess we shall. And it is pretty much... It's, it's in route. Yeah. yeah, you'd feel it's in route. So we're probably going to get closer anyways. Yeah. I'll just keep so an eye out on direction? it to look for danger, which I can do at uh, normal pace. Actually, it's stealth at normal right. pace. Yeah, so I'll say you guys go closer, and feel free to roll perceptions and everything as you get closer. Boop. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I press the wrong button. That's, no that's for well, advantage she's anyway. Gonna be sufficiently curious. I see the atoms that make up everything. <laughs> you see very, very interesting things. <laughs> Alright, um, Philia doesn't see much. Yasana can't really pick out much of the details through the, uh, various things. Shiki, no, I don't. Savvy, you just see through the, Disadvantage. Through the haze of the desert. You don't really see, have a good chance to see much through it. Jade sees everything, and Nomi does pick out a number of good details. It does appear just to be like a normal lighthouse sitting out on the edge. You can see in the, like, there's a front yard in front of it. The lighthouse looks decently pristine, like not completely new, but well maintained. Looks like there's two, you'd assume they're children from their age playing in the front yard. And um, there is grass around it. Curiously enough, it looks to be like old, brown, kind of understandable considering where you are, but the fact that it's grass at all is kind of interesting. What kind of thing are they playing? Are they just running around, or do they have They're some sort of ball? They're just running or? around. It looks like, um, like they have a, uh, a ball between them, which are kind of just throwing back and forth. Okay. A couple of kids up there. Looks like they're playing some sort of ball game handball game or something let's ignore them I mean we could ask them for directions however I don't think that's necessary they're only children the only other thing and everyone will be able to pick up on that is the uh, beacon light at the top of the lighthouse is flashing as though it's um, signaling something in like a like a, the guy to ship at a along the edge of a coast but obviously there's no ships in the area do I have any indication that any of this is an illusion? Rule and insight. Insight. Okay. You don't think this is an illusion. It seems to be fairly real. Alright, mm. I guess we're just getting closer. Alright. And as you get closer, I don't think I have you on this map. I have none of you on this map. Nope. Great. Nope. Let me just grab all of you from this map. Throw you on the map that matters. Yeah. And then I can grab all of you. I have too many maps open. And throw you on this map. Alright. 
as you start to get closer, the uh, two kids take notice of you, and they both, um, the one kind of still has the ball, and he kind of runs up towards the fence. Uh, hello. Hi. Green. Uh, and they just kind of look at each other nervous, uh, like kind of nervously, kind of excited, like they don't really know what to say. Uh, are they your probably look to be 13 at the oldest. Are your parents in? Uh, yeah, yeah, Mom, Pa, in. You want to go meet them? What is the purpose uh, of this lighthouse? Uh, you'd have to talk to Pa. He he knows all this stuff. You, you really the other one will speak up. Oh, don't don't you remember? It's to guide people home. Uh, guide people home, but isn't this? Uh, best go and get your mom and pa. Hey, 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 come on, come on, it's right inside. And they'll point to the door, which is obviously over here, because I'm not using dynamic lighting on this map. Uh, guys, do we really want to go in? Jade's oh, gonna just speak in a low voice before anyone disappears. If it's to guide people home, that's what we're planning to do. Perhaps we should take advantage of this. Even if it's a trap, it's better to spring it while we're actively aware of it. Might as well just go in. Board, 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 board. <laughs> all right, so I guess we're all just gonna head on in. Yeah, yeah, you can all head on in, and um, the one will run up to the window and knock on it and yell over, "Hey, Ma, Pa, you got some, you got some company coming in." And as it comes in, the door here will open up as well, and you'll hear an elderly woman. Ah, new people, come on in. I have some food being cooked. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> what is the purpose of this lighthouse? Are you actually entering into, like, the kitchen dining room area? Oops. Uh, I thought you said she oh. came into this room. All right, so yeah, Jade will She's, she's still forward. over in this room, and she's preparing food. That's, like, a storeroom or whatnot. Yep. Uh, so Jade will step in. Yeah. Might as well. All right, and like as you step in, you see that there's an elderly woman kind of working over a like a little fire pit sort of deal. It's not, it doesn't look as um new as say the ovens you might see, or like I say ovens, but um stoves and whatnot you might see in like a say the tavern back, you know the Raven's Wing or that's Raven's Wing, but uh, it's fairly obviously just like a stove oven. And sitting at this large table, you see an elderly man. He kind of looks like he once was a sailor got a pipe in his mouth. Um, now are you going to ask your question? Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, what's the purpose of this? Just to guide ships in, see those down, bring they're, people home. They're on it. Well, um, if you haven't noticed, it's uh, just sand outside. No water for ships. He just chuckles a little bit. <laughs> yes, well, we go where we're needed. Um... So this place moves. Oh, how silly! How could a house move? Yet yeah, you go where you go where people need you're needed. <laughs> it's not quite like that. We don't move around, of course. This is not the only place we stay in. So why are you needed here, and now? Uh, I don't know. Couldn't tell you to be honest. And he just kind of leans back, and he'll take a puff off his pipe. What about you? I'm so rude to just walk in. Uh, who are you all? Oh, well, we were invited in by your children. I apologize. Uh, we are just lonely travelers trying to find our way home. Hmm. Uh, do you lonely travelers have names? Yes. Jade will give her name, and whoever else is not yeah, speaking no up. Yeah, Nomi will kind of bow after Jade introduce herself. Yasana would introduce herself. Yes, I'm. Mm. Mm. Nice names, all of you. Can't say I've heard much of that, or heard those names much anywhere around where I've been. <laughs> well, my name is a type of rock as well. Yes, a rather interesting looking one. Green, is it not? More of a jade color. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, right. Anyways. Uh, we're just trying to get home. Hmm. Yes. And do you know how you're going to get home? No. We were hoping... Uh, py pyramid. Well, we have a guess. 
We have a guess that uh, maybe a pyramid might guide us home, but lighthouses also do that too, don't they? Eh, to be honest, normally a lighthouse is to guide ships off of rocks and such along the coast. <laughs> so many people don't understand that. They're more to make sure, you know, ships don't crash into rocks while they're either leaving or arriving at port. Yeah. And around this point, he'll kind of go up and he'll say something to his wife, who kind of just nods and smiles warmly as she goes into the back room. And you don't see her after that because, of course, there's a wall in the way. I'd tear <sighs> every wall. Can I roll to see if I can hear what he says? Uh, go ahead. You know what? I'm going uh, to I'll do the same idea. as well. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Jade will pretty obviously hear. Shiki. <laughs> Shiki will definitely hear what he says. <laughs> Shiki is just like, both those ears are perked up and they're just like zeroing in like a satellite dish. With disadvantage, by the way. <laughs> yes, with disadvantage. You got a crew with disadvantage. You saw it, you won't hear anything. Um, what he says is he's just telling his wife, or asking his wife if uh, she could go and um, tend to the lighthouse. Okay. Tend to the uh, signal, uh, the signal light. So if there's no ships about, why do you keep the uh, beacon lit? <laughs> Need to guide people home. Speaking of, if you all are all trying to find your way home, maybe I can help out. And he kind of reaches into his uh, pouch. He's just kind of fishing around for a little bit. Uh, it's in here somewhere. Where did I leave it? Ah, here it is. And he'll kind of pull it out and he'll set it down on the table. Looks to be a small compass. It's a normal go over, take a look at it. As you take a look at it, you pick it up, you see that it is definitely a small compass, though the um, the labels for what direction is which is pretty worn out. The compass itself is like only has, instead of like the two arrows, only one as the uh, lower arrow it seems to have been broken off completely. And it does seem to be pointing off in one specific direction. It's just kind of rotating freely as it's on the table, but as you pick it up, it just sets to suddenly turn to point in a certain direction. This is a... T oh, sorry, no. <laughs> just, oh, man, I, I'm bad. Yeah, I already know what this is. Jade would... I was going to say, just check and see if it's aimed at north. Yeah, Jade it's would do not... the same. Yeah, it's not aimed at north, and you know that. <clears throat> what direction is it aimed at? It's aimed a little more to the northeast. Like, east-northeast. Jade's going to say, uh, what is this compass pointing to? It points to home. And he just kind of chuckles at this point. Uh, calls out his whistle. You can hear the boys out in the front yard run around to the side. What do you have to have a map nearby? Eh, sorry. Don't have any maps of the area. So, I mean, if it points, if it points to home, silver, if I grab it, does it just spin around? <laughs> You'd have to find out. Uh, home is. I'll, I grab. I grab hold. Uh, can I ask if I can uh, hold it for a second? There's a bit of your home here. There's a bit of your home here, and a bit of home well, here. As Shiki, as you grab it to pick it up, it does spin around once, and then it points in roughly the same direction as it did for Yasana. Jade's gonna see if she can hold it as well. Yep. There you go. And when Jade takes it as well, it spins around once, and it points in roughly the same direction. That's pretty handy. Uh, while we're here, have you heard of a Lord... Was it Greymore? Blackmore? Something like Black, that? Blackmore. I don't remember. I can't say if I've ever heard of a man like that, though. I usually don't take much notice of any nobility in these parts. None from of them my really understanding, trouble me. From my understanding, he's more than just a noble. He seems to be a known troublemaker. Mm. Well, he definitely hasn't caused any trouble around for me. You two, you, this home seems pretty far out of the way, so... Hmm. A little out of the way. Very out of the way. Anyway, I'm sure you all have a busy journey ahead of you. It would be remiss of me to hold you up too much longer. Um, one one last you. question. How did you get here? <laughs> and he just kind of chuckles for a little bit. Uh... <laughs> uh... I've been here a while. I don't really know how I got here. You say you move around, though. Where was your last location? And he just smiles at that point, and he doesn't respond. 
Wait, Silver, what would it take to understand knowledge of possibly planar organizations? Planar organizations. Um, Arcana? I would say an Arcana, but the DC is going to be decently high. Yeah, you're not that. <laughs> okay, that's saving the trouble of figuring something out. <laughs> I was just gonna ask, maybe he's a wayfinder. Uh, um, but thank, I, thank you, sir. Thank you for all your help. Mm -hmm. And he just kind of he pulls the pipe out of his mouth for a second. He nods, takes another whiff of it. All right, then have a good day, you all. I hope you find your way back shortly. Okay, I'm guys, sure this please. compass will be very helpful. Thank you. Let's go, guys. All right. all right. And as you step, you all step outside, um, you'll notice along the uh, northern edge of the fence here, there are three cross markers. You didn't cross see them on your way in. Cross, cross markers? Like a, like, like a grave marker. So okay. Just like a wooden cross as like a grave marker. You and did he... not see them on the way in. Oh, they look God. Incredibly old. Any names on them at all? If there was um, a name on it, it is too far worn to read. Uh, Uncle Owen? Amaru? <laughs> Uncle Ben? And as you're wandering around, if any of you were to take a glance back, the Bill. lighthouse in the building attached to it, where it was relatively well maintained and well kept beforehand, it now looks old and decrepit, as though it's been abandoned for centuries at least. Some of the windows are just like kind of half hanging on the window on the uh, some of like the wooden window sills. Yeah, are kind of just half hanging on the window, about to fall off. Um, a bit of the fence falling off. The door is about ready to just tip over at a moment's notice. It looks as though there's nobody has walked in it in centuries. Even where you'd walk, you don't even see, you see dust where you would have walked. Can I look in the window here? You may. Um, I'm gonna stealth first, if that's all right. Yeah. Boom. Okay. I'm gonna peek in. Do I see anybody? You don't see anyone. Not even the uh, man you were speaking to. You didn't even get his name. Religion check for possibilities. Go for it. Kind of nature. Uh, God damn it! <laughs> Nate, um. Or anything else? I don't. I don't nature think this is a wouldn't here. get you much in this case. This you'd feel is more of an arcane or divine thing. So you'd right. have to go oh, probably arcana. arcana or religion would work. Okay, cool. Arcana. <laughs> wow. Yeah, nice. <laughs> whatever this is, you can feel like whatever this is, it meant it went to meet you specifically. Looking around, it's almost as though you can sense there's some sort of magical aura binding something here. Whatever it is, you are not sure exactly. It doesn't seem to be malicious in any way. In fact, you only really notice it now as you look back and you realize that sensation is gone, almost. You didn't feel it while it was there, only when it left. Do, 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 do. Does the well, compass still work the same as previously? The compass, as you take it out and look at it, it's still pointing in that north northeast, that northeast ish direction. Yes. All right, I'm gonna well, keep it out and let's head on. Well, we're getting out of here. Hold up, we're heading in the opposite direction, technically. Well, not quite, but we're heading yeah. in a different direction than what this compass is pointing to. Well, well if you think, well, we had to go south to go. To go back up. Maybe we have to go around yeah, this. Uh, and I'm going to these rocks here. Once I get off it, so. From my, I no, we, were head, we had no. We had to, we had to head south, and then we had to head back up. We went right. south to go around. All right. Yeah, and at this point, it's actually pointing in this direction. If you can see the line. Yep. So, right. should we get? So should we get in the apparatus and just hop on over? Let's avoid that while it's still sunny out. Basically, we're the apparatus, you'd have probably noticed this by this point, using the apparatus out in this desert heat, the apparatus is not really temperature controlled. While it's easier to deal with the cold, when it gets hot, you burn. I was I Pretty was, much just by touching a lot of the pieces. So you don't enough. really want to have it out in the sunlight. Fair At enough. night, you could probably out and run around in it, but not in the sun. 
Let's keep walking but, around. It won't be too long, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to keep going this direction? Yep. Yeah, and as you go off in this direction and you keep heading south along the side, you do see a figure down in this one. Perception? Go ahead. Man, you're just rocking these rolls right now. Uh, that's actually a fairly low roll for me. Go up. I have plus 12 both, to perception. At least both of them were low that time. <laughs> My passive perception right. is 22. <laughs> yeah, that was fairly low. As you get, um, Jade will be able to pick it out, but this looks to be the same man you met out in the Oasis.